It's just after 7 o'clock on a January evening two years ago, and Barrister Geoffrey Robertson is visiting his client, Julian Assange. Um, can I get you something? A tea or coffee? Mr. Robertson was providing advice to Assange in relation to his US espionage charges. The meeting was legally privileged, and we shouldn't be able to hear it or see it. It's a serious crime in European law. It's invasion of privacy. It's breach of confidential relationship between a lawyer and his client. Despite that, the cameras kept running. They were controlled by staff from Spanish security company UC Global. A group of employees from the company eventually blew the whistle on the spying. They made statements and provided a large volume of material linked to what amounted to espionage by the company by means of cameras and hidden microphones inside the embassy, information which was shared with third parties in the US. Mr Martinez was also one of the lawyers spied on. He pieced together evidence revealing UC Global's owner, former Spanish Navy Marine David Morales, ran a comprehensive surveillance operation on Assange and his guests between 2015 and 2018, allegedly on behalf of Washington. Mr Morales openly told his employees that he was collaborating with US intelligence services. Assange and his guests were repeatedly promised the embassy's CCTV system was not being shared and no audio was being recorded. That was a lie. UC Global hit a bug in the base of this meeting room fire extinguisher, and another in a female bathroom where Assange and his lawyers met to avoid surveillance. Mr Morales has denied installing listening devices in the embassy, telling Spanish media WikiLeaks must have placed them. It is incredibly troubling that our secret and privileged legal conversations with Julian Assange were recorded and apparently handed to the US authorities. This is one of the most fundamental principles of protecting attorney-client relationships, that we are able to have confidential and private meetings to discuss legal strategy. Jennifer Robinson and another Australian lawyer, Melinda Taylor, were also spied on. This is a UC Global report summarising everyone who visited Assange in March 2018. Melinda Taylor's name can be seen in an entry for March 6. And this email from Mr Morales in September 2017 asks staff to focus on a group of Assange's visitors, including Jennifer Robinson. The spying that was undertaken of our legal meetings in the embassy with Joy Assange would have been incredibly useful to the United States in giving them advance notice of our very sensitive legal conversations about protecting Julian from US extradition. What we need to really drive home to governments is the importance of that privacy in between that Australian citizen and their lawyer because it goes to the heart of the justice system. If you don't have that protection, you can't have proper advice. The US Justice Department and the CIA declined to respond. Dylan Welch, ABC News.